Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one we're going to be going over mouse events. Now these are essentially events that your mouse can trigger anytime you click on a button or any UI element we add an event listener to. For a full list of all the things we're going to be discussing today, you can go in Extend Script to help and load up the JavaScript Tools Guide CC. And inside of here, if you go ahead and find mouse event object on page 153, this is going to have all of the options involved with the mouse event, a few of which we're going to be going over today. And these will just give you a full list of features that you can deal with. So if you have any further questions after today's video, you can go over here and check out more. So what we're going to do is create a simple UI with a button on it. When we click on it, it's going to tell us some information about the mouse event. We're going to get things just from the object itself, or we can trigger numbers uh, to say this is mouse button 0, mouse button 1, or mouse button 2, depending if you click the left, middle, or right mouse buttons. So although it's just a couple lines of code, let's write it from scratch just for good practice. We're going to start by creating a new window called main window and it's going to have a type called palette. We're going to call this mouse and we're going to give it an undefined size. This UI is going to be super simple and I'm just going to create one button on it called button equal to our main window. We're going to add a button, undefined size and just call it go. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my main window, center it and grab my main window and show it. Now if we run it, we have our simple UI with our Go button. So anytime we click on the Go button, we want to actuate our event and get our mouse event. In order to do this, we're not going to use a standard onClick function. We're going to use an event listener instead. So I'm going to grab my button and say add event listener. And the event that it's going to listen for is a click. Anytime we click on this button, it needs to trigger something. What it's going to trigger is a function. We're going to have a variable called k, and this k is going to hold our mouse event. So when this tr event is triggered by a click, we're going to go into a function and bring in that, that click. That click is going to be k. And then anything inside of here is going to be what happens when we click on it. So for starters, we're going to just say alert k. So when we click on the go button, we're going to alert k, which is now we can see our mouse event. But we can get better than that looking at our JavaScript tools guide. We can get things like the button. So let's say k.button. And this is going to basically tell us, referring to the mouse event, what button are we pressing? Zero for left mouse, one for middle mouse, and two for right mouse. And as we go through here, we can check out things like we can see if the control key is being pressed. So if I say k.control key, and I run it, it's going to give us false. But if I hold down control and press go, it gives us true. So this is an interesting way of seeing different inputs while you're clicking. Let's say you require someone to shift click or control click on your UI for a certain action to happen. Well, this would be a way to tell if you're doing that. If you also wanted to differentiate between a user right clicking or middle clicking on a button, you can do that just as easily. So yeah, just go through the JavaScript tools guide and uh, check out all the things that you can build into uh, the mouse event. We can even check out the type and it will tell us that was a click. So just again, go up to help and the JavaScript tools guide and head on over to check out all the mouse events inside of Extend Script. That's going to do it for this week's quick tip tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's all about mouse events inside of Extend Script.